Okay, so you have long awaited this sequel to the greatest segment in Rail Talk, probably in podcast history. This is the Not So Newlywed game. We did the first part of this, and it's the Not So Newlywed game because John and Michelle have been married for God knows how many years. 30-something? Over 30. Probably. Over 30, yep. Over 30, and Meg and I are not quite married yet, so neither of us are newlyweds. But it's a fun exercise, as the original game was, to see who knows their partner better. And this was the brainchild of our ultra-talented associate producer, the Preesh Geisha herself, <laughs> Julia Gresta. Hey, Jules. Hey, guys. There's she been back. There's a change this time. It's not regular Jeopardy. It's unhinged Jeopardy, which means you're going to hate this round. But I <laughs> am going to massively enjoy it. Um, to remind you, and I'm we're going to get rid of your little rock, paper, scissors fiasco. I'm just going to make an executive decision and say that Joe gets to go first this week because he is getting married. Okay. So yeah. you are going to get to choose any of the options on the board. You have rank them, fan favorites, this or that, speed rating, and psychotic potpourri. Uh, I will let you know, rank them. In this section, you're going to rank items in order of personal preference. One, the first one that you say will be the most preferred. Third would be the last preferred. A speed rating, I'm so sorry. This one is a nightmare. So for speed rating, <laughs> I have asked- You up with the hard sell. <laughs> I can have fun with them. On speed rating, you guys are going to have to be really in the minds of your ladies because I've asked them to rank these items from one to 10, but they cannot use the same rating twice. So good luck. Probably avoid that column unless you're fun <laughs> and you want to try- <laughs> whatever okay. i have fun making it and that's all that matters yes yes good you are the main hey, character hey, Jules, stay out of sales that's all i have to say sales. That's okay i went him over with my personality what is psychotic potpourri potpourri that's correct that's how you say it do you order a pie not grigio when you go to your steak dinners as well we oui. some filet mignon filet mignon psychotic potpourri this is, this is all you need to know yeah you figure it out <laughs> Self-explanatory. But reminder, whoever asks the questions gets an added 50 bonus if you get it correct. So if you want to gamble and go for a 500 or you better hope that you know the answer. Otherwise, you lose that 50 points. If you get it right, you get you add your points. If you get it wrong, you lose those points. Let me remind you, the current standings are Joe, zero. John, negative 350. Uh, way ahead. Woo! Way ahead with zero. Both of you get the option to respond. Joe, what do you want to play? Let's do fan favorites for 400. Fan favorites, 400. What is your partner's favorite cooking tool? I don't know. Let's. Why would you? <laughs> yeah, why would I know this, Joe? Welcome Julia? to like, Unhinged like... Jeopardy. Have fun. <laughs> she got, okay. Does, does, she got does this, DoorDash like, count as a cooking tool? This is. Okay. This is like mind. This is like a pet peeve of mine. Is like she never chops like the sausage and stuff up finely enough. So she um, got like a meat chopping tool to mince it. Okay, I'm gonna say the mincer. Okay, that's creative. I like it. I'm gonna say it's the blender. The, the Michelle says the star teaspoon, and Megan says <laughs> the tongs. The very wow, simple. Wow, she's a tong girl. They have her classic Wait, tongs. The star Let teaspoon me see that tongue. isn't a cooking tool. It's actually a utensil. It's a it, it's, it's flatware. I, I want to see the topic. All right, I'm going to go with um, psychotic potpourri for three hundred. Oh wow! How many Lord of the Rings characters can your partner name without? research for an added bonus can you name those characters i'm gonna say three and it's bilbo um uh, mclovin and <laughs> it's, you're only hurting yourself <laughs> and and the, and the white walker from <laughs> those are the three that i know Wonderful. i'm gonna say three I this is either zero or one for me. I'm going to give her a little credit and say one golem. Michelle can name three and a half. Well, Megan, that's right. I got that. Because you, uh, you can yeah. have the three. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Megan right. knows two. Wow. So, Megan did, I knew, the three, did I get any of the three right? Megan knew Frodo and Sam. Oh. Okay. She knows more than me now, dork. <laughs> Michelle said Gandalf, which I guess is the White Walker. I... <laughs> 
it hurts me to say that, but I suppose. Frodo, Bilbo, and the monster guy who calls the ring my precious. That's Gollum, right? Yes, That's it Gollum. Is. Oh. Okay, so I get that one. You do. All right. As yeah. always, we need to we need to put our heads together yeah. and we can really be killing this game. I'm gonna go rank them for 400. Okay, rank them 400. What would your partner rank, <laughs> John? Joe and Patty. Oh, this is spicy. Oh man. So one is the best. One is the and, best. Oh man. I I'm tempted to tempted to put Patty first <laughs> just because she's everybody's first love. Be mine. But I'm Obviously. gonna hopefully, very hopefully say Joe one, Patty two, John three. <laughs> and I'm gonna say the reverse. I'm gonna say Michelle is going to say me first, Patty second, Joe third. But if she could, because I know this probably killed her that she had to rank people, she would probably say, but they're all equally really nice. Like I know that. So hopefully I get bonus points for that. For saying it's like one, one A and and one X. (laughs) Michelle said John, then Patty, then Joe, but I love them all. all. Yeah, see? No such parentheses for me. (laughs) (laughs) No, Patty, John. Wow, boys. That was All right, so we both got that one. Well, Good. I will give you 100 extra points. Uh, so spot on. For what? what oh, because you got the par- par- yeah. parenthetical yeah. statement? Yeah. Got it. I'll guarantee you it killed her to, to, yeah. put, yeah, to put anybody above the next person. You know what? Rank them was actually fun. I'm going to go with that for 500. Primarily because speed rating seems like I can't figure it out. So. Yeah, that's pretty hard. Ketchup, Szechuan sauce, and butter. Oh, my God. Yeah, the three staples. <laughs> it's in the 500 <laughs> per, for a reason. Oh, my God. All right. I'm going to say Michelle is going to do butter, Szechuan, ketchup. No, butter, ketchup, Szechuan. Butter, ketchup, Szechuan. Alphabetical. Butter, ke- ketchup, Szechuan. Meg's not really a ketchup person, so I'm going to say butter, Szechuan sauce, and ketchup. Butter, ketchup. Wow, they're both they're both the same. The same. Woo! We haven't done it yet, so let's do let's go speed rating for 300. Oh no! Ah! Oh no! You make me happy. <laughs> a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, rate one through ten. Uh, I feel like that's got to be a ten. That's a staple in our household. Oh, oh man, see that's big. Michelle's allergic to peanut butter, so. I'm going to say a four. She's allergic and you say a four? (laughs) Yeah, because she knows that I like it. (laughs) She knows that I like it. So, (laughs) Watch, it was even higher than a four. Michelle (laughs) Wow. while delicious, I'm sadly allergic to peanut. Right. And Megan, it was an eight. But that's that's Michelle in a total total nutshell, no pun intended. Absolutely. It's like in in an allergic peanut peanut, shell. Yeah, it's like. It's like, oh, well, I, I know that this guy was trying to murder me, but he had really soft hands, so I'm going to give him a five. Like, I, I know that's just yeah. – 100% is hard. You know, I did uh, I did beta test this on my parents, and I asked them – I told them that I'd give them a three-number leeway. So right. in that case, you both get your points for this. Oh, oh okay. It is a quite hard. Right. All right, I'm going to go this or that for 200. Red sauce or red wine? Red wine. Red sauce, 100%. Woo! Yeah. Oh, boy. All right. Correct mundo. Oh, man. Way to go. go Fonzie. Yes. All right. That's the perfect way to end it on a high note, I think. I think. So. That's how we should end it. Unless we're tied. Do we even know what the score <laughs> <laughs> No. No one knows. The score will be posted graphically, is my understanding. Yes. Um, so it'll be it'll be a, a surprise to all of us. To us all. Let me know. <laughs> Listen, I to tried anybody. to do the math simultaneously last last time, and yeah. Patty was out of the country, and it was just too much. <laughs> it was a shit show. For me. I know, Julia. We gotta. I gotta. You know, compliment you on this. It was very entertaining and yeah. fun. I, I'm dying to know what the other questions are. Um, so may, maybe you can tease a couple of them on on the. Uh, on the old website um, or okay, something because yeah, I know you put a ton of time, but thank you so much. I, I feel like that we're all winners. I feel like we're all winners here. Hopefully the numbers will agree. Hopefully. But yes, I, I second that. Thank you so much, Julia. And I don't know. I think the people are going to want more Julia in the show. So oh, we'll find no a way, <laughs> no we'll find a way to shoehorn you into the show another way, but thank you for, for this and for all of your help and support along the way. Of course, of course, of course. Farewell. Thank you, Julia. <laughs> 